Hello students, welcome to this video and in this video we are going to focus on vulnerability scanning and web vulnerability scanning tools. So I will be only showing some good web vulnerability scanning tools and uh, not all the tools. So these are my favorite. So this is first one is this Nuclei. So this is the fast and customizable vulnerability scanner based on simple YAML based DSL. Okay. So it is a like it is it uses templates like yaml templates to find uh, like uh, tcp dns http ssl file voice data all these things and it can also uh, it has also a separate uh, like templates for fudging uh, like fudging miscellaneous misconfiguration network ssl takeovers technologies vulnerabilities so this tool can detect all these things and if you want to create your own yml file then here is the syntax all the syntax okay to create yml file of your own so you can also create your own tool or own template okay not tool so here is the full documentation and for installation you have to just copy this command from here and you have to paste it on your terminal i have already installed it so I will cancel it and I will copy from go go bin and nuclei to user local bin so I will run this command with sudo privileges and it will be copied so after that uh, like uh, we have to also do one more thing we have to copy this uh, like just copy this code from here like just copy this and we have to go to our like uh, home directory and uh, we can just paste here like clone here uh, clone it here okay so we have to just run this command git clone and uh, it already exists in my like home directory as here nuclei templates okay so uh, just paste it in your home directory okay this is your home directory so after that we will be start uh, our nuclei tool okay so the help menu is also very simple like uh, the usage is also very simple like dash u and you have to give the target url and you can also give the uh, url in your like uh, like in a file okay so you have to use this dash l okay and if you want to also scan whole IPs that are associated with the DNS records, then uh, give the dash SA option. Okay. And after that, there are many other things also here. And it can be also uh, run with like burp suit. Okay. So we can also like configure with it uh, both of them. Okay. So uh, the usage is very simple nuclei dash u. And I will give the like first of all i will give hacker1.com and i will press enter so as you can see that it has founded one uh, like a small information disclosure vulnerability so it is a very small vulnerability and it has found it that uh, uh, cloud like hacker one is using an xss depreciated header okay so it can be also used in finding xss types of vulnerability and the technology is detected like the cloudflare okay so it is behind cloudflare so it has not it will not be able to detect like uh, that real hosting server and uh, after that uh, like it is the it is using azure domain tenant as you can see here there is also the documentation and mx service records are detected as google apps it will also detect many things so here you can see that the nuclear scanner has completed its scanning on hackerone.com and first of all it has founded xss depreciated header next the tech is detected as cloud player and there is, this is the mx record okay so uh, this is the mx record for hacker1.com and this is the ca fingerprint and this is some dns related things 
so uh, these are the like uh, this is the email address that is leaking so it is like showing us so i think the like actual hosting server is amazon aws and it has also founded that and uh, like these companies are likely to be related to hacker one that's why they are showing right now and the tls version is tls uh, like 13 and uh, like the mx service detected in google apps like uh, the name servers are these two name servers and the certificate like ssl issuer is like digit dg cert okay so uh, ssl can also have some like vulnerabilities like weak ciphers that cannot encrypt uh, um, that uh, connection in a good way and can lead to like vulnerabilities okay so here is the azure domain tenant and here is the ssl dns names okay here, here as you can see that so uh, you remember that we have installed also our nuclei templates in the home folder so we will go to this nuclear templates and first of all i am clear the i am clearing the screen and after that you can see that there are many like directories called cves default logins dns exposed panels exposures file fudging headless miscellaneous misconfiguration network ssl takeovers technologies vulnerabilities are also there so we will go to this vulnerabilities folder and see that there are many vulnerabilities and there or uh, there are also uh, inside that there are some like yaml based uh, scripts and there are amazon apache backdoor cisco and there are many things as you can see here so what we are going to do that uh, we are going to scan our website okay so for that we will uh, use this uh, like nuclear uh, sorry this uh, nuclear tool we will use and we will also use this wordpress okay because our uh, our website is hosted uh, like uses wordpress okay so i will write like this and for uh, giving this wordpress we have to use this dash t option and then we can just write here wordpress and now it will scan for vulnerabilities in wordpress our website okay so the scan will be very fast because it has to only scan one directory so it has uh, founded nothing uh, so let's go back to our like this and uh, now we are going to scan for cves so we are going to scan hackerone.com for cves so we will write like this dash t and cves and we will press enter now it will scan for cvs okay now you can see that it has detected nothing so uh, i will also show you one more option dash dash v that is dash v for uh, verbose okay so you can see that every request that nuclei makes and uh, you can also see that it is like using which template for uh, which thing so you can see that here are it is using some like lfi and uh, you can see that okay there is a lfi payload in nuclei and if it founds then it will like uh, show you show you the results okay so it also cannot make some like request so it is also showing that so it is testing with uh, numerous payloads as you can see on the screen and uh, after that uh, so i will stop it and uh, i hope that you will understand how to use this nuclei tool and you can also create your own like so you can also create your own uh, like yaml templates so let me show you some yaml templates like if i go to like ssl no i will go to technologies and if i ls now you could see that there are many uh, many like yaml templates and uh, let's uh, like search for only one like big ip so we will cat it and we will write like big uh, let me see that
so let's go to another one which is git book and you can see that the code is very very simple and it is very uh, and it is like comparatively more simpler than any other programming languages that we see okay so you can also learn this and uh, let's move to the next video